Hello, 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 and welcome to this updated video of mine of Apex Legends, uh, the good, the bad, and what it's about, uh, mainly some stuff I want to state that I didn't state in there because I didn't know or didn't uh, put in because I just forgot and other stuff, whatever, whatever, we'll just get into this stuff, oh, good part irks mainly of bad stuff, of, I'm not sure if it's truly balanced or whatever, this is just my thoughts and my opinions on some stuff. First off, one thing I do think kind of is a little odd and shit, it's weird, is that uh, when you're playing the game, you, you get down and you get killed. You got that little timer and stuff, so how long it takes before you get a refive and stuff. But like it goes from that to like you get those like little banners come up and back, uh, come down and then back up to have you being able to spectate your teammates, you know, or like if your whole team was killed and it goes from doing that stuff to spectating the enemies and stuff. But I think that time takes too long. You know, it's like you're sitting there just looking at the area you died and it's like, I could be spectating my teammates right about now if, you know, I could get past all this shit because, you know, it's just, it's, I feel like that, that time it takes from when you die to when you're spectating your teammates, it's a bit too long. The fact that you have to sit there and just, like, because, like, so for the most part, you might say, you know, well, they're on my body, they're on my body, or, you know, they're around me, revive and stuff, so, you know, it's understandable, but why not have, like, a button where you just, if you want to bypass that, because, you know, it might be just, you know, you're dead and you got killed from some far-ass distance and you want to, like, bypass and just go look at your teammates, see what they're doing, you know? You know, it's just, I feel that takes, uh, like, that time, it's just too long, or it's just, like, the fact that you don't have the option to bypass it all and just start spectating, you know? Uh, it's just an real irk it's just so annoying you know it's just like you gotta sit there and just like can't watch what the heck is happening and shit you know like maybe you know your teammates are in the middle of action you want to spectate what's happening but you can't because you got this time you gotta sit there looking at your crate and shit like um okay now we're spectating okay like like it's like something about that needs to change you know something about that needs to change number two of uh what we're gonna get in here in the characters these two i feel like needs a little rework of a balancing or something like this first one i'm not sure like i said it could be balanced may not be but that is a break and her tactical ability of when she can go invisible somewhat uh but she can't be you know shot at she can't take any damage while she's in this like phase mode the thing is she ha has this trail about her that basically just telling the enemies uh where the fuck you're going so it's just like a lot of times whenever i use that try to get out of situations it doesn't really help at all, you know, because it's like the enemy can basically see where the fuck I'm going, and the moment I pop out, start shooting my ass again, you know. Like it's 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 okay, but for the most part, it's like the fact that the enemy can tell where I'm going and know exact, you know, and just like see where I'm popping out, so they can start shooting my ass again, does seem a little unbalanced, you know, because it's like like I I get it, like they want to enemy to kind of see so they can you know defend themselves somewhat, but it's like it's just you know, for the most part, it almost seems like it's in their favor because they can see it so easily and just like tell where you're gonna pop out and just start mowing you down to and you can't really do much anything and you know to counteract that stuff it's, it just seems like it's a an imbalanced aspect right now of the trail because there's so many situations i think i could have got on there if they didn't see the trail and then you know just start shooting me again the moment i popped out you know or i could have you know uh juke them and come around and start shooting at them but you know the trail would tell them like okay i'm going to go this way so when i pop out you can shoot me you know kind of thing so fucking and one uh character that i like mainly you know of course i've said it in the other video of uh, cost you know he needs a bit of a rework you know like i said uh either increase the damage of his gas uh radius uh uh mount uh, like, you know, maybe have it linger a bit more or linger at all because I'm not sure if some of it even lingers at all, you know, or, you know, uh, more traps or something, you know, something to balance him a bit better. He is considered a defense character, but it's, it's still, it seems he's like a bit of a weak character. But the main issue I have of a character that I think is not balanced correctly with his tactical is uh, Pathfinder and his, you know, grappling hook. Because in the game that these are, this uh, Battle Royale is based off of Titanfall, Titanfall 2, those you can shoot, like, I think, like, 50 feet at a distance and hook something. Here, uh, you shoot, like, 5 feet. Like, you're seeing me here, like, back behind me. And basically, from my door there to where I'm standing, you're seeing, and to uh, this camera here, you know, uh, it's basically the length of which you can shoot that fucking thing. Seriously. 
by the time you can tr truly use it in most situations, it becomes mute, you know? I mean, there's kind of a tactic to where you can, like, swing around and stuff, but I, I feel that the length of the, uh, the hook is just too fucking short. Because there was a situation last night where I'm the last person up, and I find myself a bit pinched, and I could have got another situation good. I'm, like, behind, behind a rock, and if the hook could just go a bit of a more distance than it allows to hook something, I might have been able to get my ass out of the situation and live and, who knows, maybe come back and win the game for my team, you know? But I wasn't given that opportunity because the thing only shoots about five feet to hook something, you know? It's like, anything past that, it's like, I'm sorry, I don't know what you want from me. Uh, uh, talk to the devs, you know? It's like, what the fuck is the point of a grappling hook if at the distance in which you can use it, it becomes, for the most part, mute, you know? Like, seriously. I could have helped my teammates in situations, could have got my ass out of situations with this thing, if we could just go farther. I understand it needs to be a balance between, you know, going from, like, the game where it was, like, hang on, let me back here real quick. Going from, like, this distance kind of thing, like, uh, going a far ass distance to going this kind of distance, you know? Like, I understand the balance going from here to here. But I don't think here is long enough, you know? Like, maybe here or something, you know? It's a bit distant, you know? It's instead of 5 feet, 10 feet, or 50 feet, or, you know... 11 feet, something, you know, just somewhere where it actually feels like it's a fiable item, you know, or, I mean, a tactic, or whatever you want to call it, you know, fightable item to use, you know, the grab and the hook is okay, but for the most part, people don't like using him, because his tactic is so weak, his passive is okay, but you gotta find the towers, and his ultimate is the best thing about him, seriously, his ultimate is the only good thing about Pathfinder, other than maybe getting a chuck from his quips and his, you know, uh, finishers, outside of those, Nobody uses him because he's just, it's just, what's the point? I mean, yes, you can get information, you get the towers, but that's if you can get to the towers. In a game where it's like, so many seconds are fight of looting or fighting and stuff like that, what's the point of going to this tower, huh? I mean, the circle's gonna pop up anyways, who gives a shit if we know where the next one is, you know? What's the point? I mean, it's okay to have that information, but it doesn't really help you a lot of times. You know, it's like, okay, the circle's over there, but still, you know, you have to worry about... The people between you and that circle, so, you know, I mean, it's okay, but it's not like it's the best information you need. It's not like if you were saying PUBG, where the second circle might help, so you can get a really good head start there, getting there with a few groups. Like, you know, here it's like, it's okay, but it's not as a major need of something, you know, like, say, a fucking care package that you can get health or better items of armor or, a, you know, legendary weapon. Or, you know, just other stuff, you know, you know, things that could really help out your team. The grappling hook is really needs, I say, a rework of some sort. Like I said, I think the best thing to do is just extend the length of which it can grab something, you know. Not have it five feet, have it like ten feet, or maybe somewhere in between or something, you know. Somewhere where the item for this guy, his tactical, is fireable. Because, like I said, the majority of the time in which you can use it, in which you need to use it to get out of situations or find yourself to helping your teammates by getting there faster or something, you know, things that you really want to use it, for the most part, become mute. I mean, there are some situations where it really helps, or, you know, and there's, like, some clips of people doing some badass shit with it. You know, good on them for being able to use it in those kinds of situations. But the majority of the time in which you, I say, want to use it, at least for the average gamer like me, it becomes mute. Like, what's the point? Like, oh, I could have gotten there faster and helped him if he extended more, but by the time I could use it, the guy's already coming out the door and I'm shooting him, or, you know, uh, my teammate's already down or dead, or, you know, it just, you know, it could have helped so much more if I could have gotten there much faster via it, if we could go farther to hook something, to hook the ground, hook a wall, to hook, you know, the top of a building, to hook a tree, you know, something, you know? It's just, I feel that the hook is short. That's main issue I have in this game right now. I like playing him, but if his hook could just go a bit farther, I think it could become a bit more viable of an item to use on him, or, I mean, especially for him to be used, you know, I'm betting, you know, how they have over Wimpus succeed, you know, a pick rate and a run rate of all their operators and everything, you know, stuff like that, you know, like, we'll just go with the pick rate, you know, I'm betting of the characters right now, he is probably one of the lower pick rates, so I'm sure the, uh, two operators that you have to unlock are probably down there with him somewhere but i'm sure you know of the people that you have to choose from that are 
not have to be unlocked, you know, of all the other six characters. Uh, he's probably like the lowest one. Out. I'm, I'm betting he's like on par with say Banglador, because a lot of people don't want to use him because one, he might not move slower, but he feels that way, and two, he seems to be a, he's a bigger target because how big he is, so it seems like he might have a bigger hit hit uh body area, you know, to shoot. So you know, it's a lot easier to shoot. So more people would like to hit him, so he, you know, he's probably on par with Banglador. You know, it's like it's between him. He's probably above Banglador, but you know, he's a around that area you know they're like the probably bottom two people to have be picked in this game and they both in somewhat of a way need to be working uh but yeah that's about it you know and like i said uh some of these characters need to be working. like i said i don't know about the uh wraith if she truly does i mean oh just saw something else that I, every other person of course has probably already stated and that they need to do something about the crates of when you know you die or you know you kill somebody because they are a physical item, so you know you will bump into them, you know, and stuff. And uh, unfortunately, being that they are such a physical item, they can, if it, the person dies in the middle of a door, block that door. You know, like the person's blocking the door when they're like crawling and everything. The moment they die, that critter there's this, you know, they are still blocking the door. So they need to do something about that, where maybe they're not physical items or something, or it's just like. In some way, uh, if you uh, a crate is in the middle of the door and you're running up against it, it moves, you know, something. Yeah, I'm sh sure the devs are thinking about it because, like I said, every other gamer has probably said something about this. So, yeah, uh, maybe they could, uh, sorry, uh, something you just said. Sorry. Um, little phone call there on my Skype. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, it's uh I think they need to, uh, for the most part, rework uh, Pathfinder in his uh, tactic, at least. His tactic needs a bit of a rework. His best is okay, you know. If you want to get out that information, you can, you know. And his ultimate is pretty cool, you know. It's got a good balance to it, you know. The, uh, maybe it could get a bit of a more length or something. I don't know. Maybe it's at the right point. Like I said, the only thing I have an issue with is his is tactical. And how short of a distance it can go to grab something, you know, to really grapple and pull you. Uh, I think the reason why they devs have it this way, which they maybe can balance in a way, is like you can grab actual enemies with it and pull them towards you. Maybe they can just say, remove that and, you know, just grow out, uh, sorry, grow, extend the length of the grappling hook. Because maybe they don't want you to be able to grapple somebody from a far distance and pull them towards your teammates and you, you know. Which is understandable. Maybe they, they can just remove that part, you know, because I don't think much of if anybody has ever actually hooked someone. I'm sure there's been times people have. For the most part, like I said, you know, at the times in which you probably can, that thing becomes mute. I mean, what's the point of grabbing somebody in the middle of a gunfight? I mean, at, nine times out of ten, that part becomes mute, and you're basically just jumping around and shooting, you know, or the most part, just shoot, you know. Like I said, 90% of the time that you can actually use the grappling hook on that guy, it becomes mute of a point to use. Yeah. So the most part, I think he needs a rework, and possibly also, like I said in the beginning, that time when you die and go from there to uh, be able to, to uh, spectate your teammates, needs to have like either a shrink, a shrink, a short time, or have you the ability to bypass it. You know. I guess that I play on Xbox, so sorry. No other stuff right now. I play on Xbox, so maybe you can hit A or maybe hit B, you know, since it's off to the side, so you won't probably be hitting A constantly and stuff, because you know you're probably already doing that, just jump around and stuff, and boom, you're dead, and then you're dead. So maybe you know, just something, you know, something to shorten that time if you want to not just stare at your fucking crate for about five seconds. Yeah, those are my main two issues. And uh, like I said, that's about it. So I thank you for watching. I hope you informed. I hope you were entertained. And I hope you have a rock and suck day. A peace.